This was an older project that I finally edited into a video. So you'll notice that this was before the new miter station was built or the new outfeed table. And maybe six or eight months ago, I made a convex stars and bars painting. Well, I sold that painting, I think in, in April or May, and the client asked me to frame it in a convex frame. So that's what I'll be doing in this video, and then I'll deliver and install it and get to show you what it looks like in the home. The painting measures 36 by 36, I'm just making sure. And I want a 3 16 inch reveal all the way around the painting. So I'll make the subframe 36 and 3 8 by 36 and 3 8. I'm building the subframe exactly like a face frame and I'm going to use biscuits to build the frame because the half inch plow is just too narrow for a pocket hole joint. The outside measurements of the frame are 36 and 3 8 by 36 and 3 8 in both directions. So I've got two long runs at 36 and 3 8 and two short runs at 30 and 3 8 and the reason for that is the width of the frame is 3 inches so 3 and 3 is 6 plus 30 and 3 8 is 36 and 3 8 I just put the painting on top of the subframe and centered it and now I'm going to use a piece of MDF. This will be my pattern. I'll put a piece of paper on the painting to just to protect it a little bit. And now I've got a piece of eighth inch plywood and I'm going to trace along this plywood and then I'll bring the MDF downstairs and cut it out on the bandsaw. I just finished sanding the blade marks out of the pattern and next I'm going to make the sides of the frame. I'm building the frame out of poplar because I'm painting it and the sides of the frame will be 5 eighths of an inch and the material I'm working with is 3 quarters. So now I'm going to rip the sides of the frame to width and then I'll resaw the material at 5 eighths. After I resawed the boards on the table saw, I ran them through the drum sander and that removes any of the, the blade marks. You could also run the boards through a thickness planer and if you don't have either of those, you could just sand the boards. Now I'm using the pattern and I'm going to trace the pattern on the two sides. Now I'll cut this out with the bandsaw and I'll leave the line maybe even a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch because the next step will be to use the pattern and a flush cut bit in the router to get a nice clean cut. Now I'll use just three small dabs of hot glue to glue the side of the frame to the pattern. This is just temporary. making sure I'm nice and flush in the back. I let the hot glue set up for just about two minutes and now I have a flush cut bit in the router and the ball bearing will run along the pattern leaving a nice clean cut on the edge of the board.
So now I've got the sides of the frame and the bottom and the top. And what I'm going to do is cut the bottom and the top to length. They're going to be flush with the subframe from end to end. Now I'll take a sharp pencil and trace this angle. This is the top of the frame and I'll do the same thing at the bottom. And now I'll find that angle on the table saw and it's just about five degrees. Now before I go any further with it, I'm going to bring the frame upstairs and make sure I like the way the painting fits. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got a nice even reveal all the way around the painting. Now I'm going to bring the frame back downstairs. I'll give it a good sanding, paint it, and then it will be ready to be delivered and installed. It changes everything, yeah. Right? I'm trying to figure out what you should do down there. Hmm. I think something red. Yeah. Lake John's bad. Well, obviously. Do, he could do something custom for that. Well, He'll have to be bonded. The man's working all the time. He loves it. That's what he's he like does. a slave. No, he's not. He loves it. He goes running. He he's going to make fishing. my tables.